Howdy, Mike McCoy here. Got schematics on the wall. Old sawmill decided to act up a little bit. Something shorted out in that conglomeration of wars. We got the tester. I've been a fooling with it all morning. I think we got it fixed, but I still don't know how I fixed it. That spider web down there is a little bit intimidating to me. I am not a wire man. But uh, got a good schematic. That one right there won't be it. That's one for the carriage. And this is a better one for this thing in here. But uh, let's plug it up and see if it's going to work now. Well, he went up. Let's see if it's going to see it. Yep. Let's see if it'll back up. Yep. Forward. I believe we've got it. The main thing I found wrong was the the common and the positive was crossed. And the the neutral war was the hot war and the hot war was a neutral. But I I switched them around and this this piece right here, it was just loose in there. It'd come on it just bouncing around, it'd probably shorten out again something or another. And but everything seems to be in good shape. And this really is not that complicated. There's a lot of wars there, but it, uh, that little box you see right yonder, that's got micro switches in it. And there's a way, uh, there's a bar in there that breaks them and each micro switch represents one setting. And the settings is on that thing right there. There's six of them. And, uh, you know, right, right, right there, that's, the selector switch and it, it it's not complicated at all. The, the old guy I bought this mill off of, he said that thing out there said, now that's a brain box that oh gosh, said, you gotta really be careful of that. And all it is is a little transformer. And they are expensive. I think that little piece is like ninety dollars. For I blowed one one time. And if you run too big a fuse in here you can do that. And right now I've got too big a fuse in it. It just needs like a two amp fuse. And I've got probably a 25, so I need to change that. But yeah, with all this stuff that, you know, if you can kind of figure out where the wires go, it makes it a whole lot easier. But uh, before, when you cut it on, the carriage would just come forward. It wouldn't, it wouldn't stop. And now it, it, see the dog, they jump out and go up. So everything seems to be a working. Supposed to. And uh, that, that little meter right there, that's a lifesaver. That thing has saved me a lot of money. For if you had to call somebody in on this thing, you could spend $1,000 easy just to, you know, getting them here. And, uh, Right back in there, it looks like a naked wire. I guess I'd better check that out too. That, that is probably my problem. So, let me get that checked out and I'll be back with you in a minute. That was just uh, spider webs. So I wasn't that thing. You say so? No, I'm talking to the camera. Here's my helper. <laughs> She's doing a pretty good little camera job. Couldn't do it without her. Somebody's got to reach me stuff. But uh, I believe that guy is going to put that cover on back down there. But everything looks real good. That was just working good. Hey. 
ain't nothing no aggravating in this thing when it does decide to mess up. But hopefully we've got it fixed. I think we do anyway. I'll know more about it Monday when we start sawing. We've got in a few longs. See over there, and I've got some over yonder. We got in about 10,000 feet. And, you know, if you don't know nothing about something, that sounds like a lot, but it's not. Somebody like Logger Wade, that'd probably be about two or three hours sawing for them. But us, it'll last us a long time, but we don't saw the production. We just cut little orders out. Like that right there, that's pretty much one little order, and we'll cut it Monday and deliver it. New window glass is working good. Everything seems to be all right, and we're going to do maintenance on this thing today, mostly. But I, I hope we've got this fixed. I really do. This seems to be working the way it's supposed to. I'll catch you later. Things jumped off. I'm going to have to adjust it. Good morning. 